How is a plane, which can weigh hundreds of thousands of pounds, able to escape the force of gravity to soar seemingly effortlessly through the sky? How do planes like these ever get off the ground and stay there? Arthur C. Clarke once famously said, Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. This may have been the case regarding flight many years ago. But as we will explain, the magic of flight is easily explained through the scientific discoveries of a couple of guys named Bernoulli. It's not magic. And Newton. It's science. We need to first talk about air. Air is made up of molecules, and the weight of these air molecules acting on an object is what we call air pressure. Bernoulli discovered a principle about air and other types of fluids in motion. He discovered that as a fluid, in our case air, increases in speed, its pressure decreases. Picture yourself holding the end of a piece of paper just under your lip. If you were to blow out across the paper, the paper will rise. Two things are happening that cause the paper to rise. First, as Bernoulli stated, as you blow, the speed of the air along the top of the paper increases. This increase in speed causes the air pressure to decrease. Second, because there is now greater pressure below the paper than above it, that pressure pushes the paper up. So how does this explain how an airplane flies? Because Bernoulli's principle applies in any situation in which the air is moving. In flight, air is moving over the top and bottom of the wings. What makes the wing especially effective for flight is its shape. It is shaped like an airfoil with a curve along the top. As wind passes over this curve, it speeds up. The wind speed under the wing stays the same. Remember that Bernoulli's principle states that the faster the air is moving, the less pressure it has. This means that the pressure under the wing is now greater than the pressure above the wing. That greater pressure essentially pushes the wing and thus the aircraft up. This force is called lift. So we've been talking about lift. What about gravity? How does lift overcome the weight of the plane? In order for a plane to have enough lift, it must create its own wind by moving forward fast enough for sufficient airflow across the wings. This forward force is called thrust. This thrust is created by the engine and propeller in our example. The propeller itself is an airfoil, just like a wing. And just like the wing, it produces lift from air that moves across the upper and lower edges of it. However, since these edges are oriented vertically as opposed to horizontally like the wing, the lift that is produced propels the aircraft forward. As the plane moves forward, the wind that is created is called relative wind. The last force we need to discuss is drag. Drag is the resistance of a plane to move through the air caused by the friction of the air on the aircraft. This resistance must be overcome by the thrust of the propeller. So, here's how this all works together to create flight. The aircraft propeller produces thrust. This thrust moves the plane forward, creating relative wind across the wings. The wind also creates drag on the aircraft, which must be overcome by the thrust. As the plane accelerates, the relative wind across the wing creates an area of low pressure along the top of the wing. The faster the plane goes, the lower the pressure above the wing, which allows the higher pressure under the wing to lift the aircraft. These same forces apply to all aircraft regardless of size.